Hello there everyone, I hope you're having a great day! Today I'd like to take you through a new video inspired by the previous two videos on one was on boots above the knee and the second one boots up to the knee in dark colors. So in this video we are going to talk about boots up to the knee in light colors and this very first pair you are seeing here is a pair of white leather boots with a beige a suede leather uh, edge as you can see there they are made in brazil and they're in a size 5 i got them some years ago and i like that they are in white because i always avoided uh, buying white boots for obvious reasons the heel is a bit high is eight centimeters which means i can't walk very fast in them so i have to keep them for special occasions what i liked about them is that they're lightly padded and uh, uh, they look rather nice with that uh, pointed toe at the front and uh, as you'll see from the little catwalk uh, they are they look very very nice you can't complain are seeing next is a pair of white cowboy boots. I think I got them from uh, June and probably it was some 10-15 years ago. They look in mint condition because as I explained in the other video I tend to keep all my boots, all my shoes, everything in their own boxes and I always tend to put some tissue at the front in order to maintain that uh, toe area very strong and not to get turned as you see sometimes some boots especially cowboy boots this pair is very pointed as you can see there and what I liked about them it was in white and they've got that purple and turquoise butterflies uh, just beautiful colors good combination looking even better in real life and uh, they're lightly padded they're in a size 38 they have got a good solid sole which means they're very very easy to walk in so I always look at boots at Boot Barn uh, based in the States as they've got lots of branches throughout eastern coast of uh, North America and uh, looking forward to buy some more pairs there in the future they are just great especially the Ariad boots I'm in love with them but they are very very expensive this pair even 10-15 years ago when I purchased them I think I paid some 75 pounds so great value for money the next pair I think I got them from Moda in uh, Pele in Bond Street um, they are pink suede leather and they have got that snake skin uh, leather at the bottom and uh, at the top of the boot. They are uh, designed to appear as if falling on your legs and I really like this kind of design. The heel is rather high, it's an 8 or 10 centimeter heel. They are made in Spain, you always expect that and look at that gorgeous uh, green leather you see inside. You are thinking, my gosh that leather should make another boot they are in size 39 or 6 uk so it's very very easy to slip into them and i really like this combination they are just stunning and again they look so much better in a real uh, life <music> This 
next pair you are seeing now i got them from dune they are a pair of light purple suede leather boots they are very very comfortable to walk in they have got a little bit of uh, purple leather at the top that long zipper as you can see uh, they are made in brazil and they are a size 38 and i like their pointed toe the six centimeter heel and my cobbler put the metal heel as you can see there with the downside that it's very loud when you walk on the floors and also reinforce the toe area so the toes and the heels they always get destroyed first so you have to think of something to ensure durability The next pair you are going to see in a second is another pair I simply love and I'm not sure where I got them from, it was some um, 15 years ago maybe. So they are a pair of fabric and side suede leather boots, I really like that frilly uh, side suede uh, leather, it's just gorgeous, they are beautifully made inside, they are a size 5 UK and the heel I think is some 6-7 centimeters. The zipper is pretty good and I wish I uh, wore them more often these days. I can't remember the last time I wore them. They are just a beautiful, a very well made pair of uh, boots. going to see in a second is a pair of boots I got from Amazon. Uh, they are Sokofi boots and Sokofi also have got their own website or you can buy them from many Chinese sellers. However, I try to avoid buying them on the Chinese sellers website because they have got lots of bad reviews and when I saw them on Amazon I couldn't believe and I realized that they are sold indeed by Chinese sellers but is fulfilled by Amazon which means probably they are in warehouses in the UK and Amazon sends them to you straight away next day if you are a Prime member. What I liked about them is they are size 6, they have got a very good heel, very comfortable, a 5 cm only, which is just brilliant. They are beautifully made in and out. They have got a good sole, which is just great. The side zipper and they are all leather except that blue fabric at the front. I have no idea why they put that blue fa fabric there since everything else is leather. So just one of those things. I paid for them around £55, I think 50 or £55. They were reduced, so lucky me. This next pair, I got them from New Look and I got them because I have a matching bag again. I'm not sure where I got it. I think it was from Miss Selfridge some years ago. This pair is of suede leather. So um, they have got the beautiful fringes at the top, as you can see there. They are made in Vietnam and they have got a, an 8 centimeter strong heel, a very thick sole which I never had to repair so I never spend any more money on them which is brilliant. Uh, they are padded and they have got the studs at the top. They are a size 6 UK and probably I pay between 20 and 30 pounds so if you come across boots like this with this kind of sole, this kind of heel, grab them. They are just brilliant. You will not have to invest any, anything further onto the toes and a sole area and the heel in order to reinforce them. I uh, love them. The next pair of boards, they are simply stunning and I wish I wore them more often. I purchased them from Faith and they are a pair of leather boots. They have got the amazing colors that attracted me in uh, gold, light green. They are just beautiful. But the downside is they have got that 10 centimeter heels. 
yourself it's a bit difficult to walk in fast you have to take them for a function or anything special they're in a size six so they're very easy to slip in and they have got a very good sole as you can see there with the toe grip and they are just brilliant they are made in brazil which is to be expected i noticed most of my boots with a great design are made in brazil or spain so no surprise there in these two countries they have got a uh, good reputation for creating this kind of complicated boots uh, just like in italy in italy they make very nice boots but what i came across it was more simplistic than in spain or brazil so yeah they are a gorgeous pair of boots i love them and i think oh, i purchased like three pair of boots on that occasion i will they're all reduced uh, after christmas so yeah i splashed some money on a uh, several pair of boots when i got this pair too so as you can see that they're, they're beautifully made inside and outside surely this outside is just leather made to look like snake and yeah they're just uh, stunning and the last pair is a pair of boots uh, from Patricia Guerrero Patricia Guerrero they're a pair of sweat leather boots I'm not sure where I got them I think in a shop in Bond Street and they're in a size 38 I got them uh, on sale so reduced price they've got a very tiny five centimeter heel which means it's very easy to walk in and they have got a zipper at the back which is pretty original you don't see many boots like this I really like them and again I wish I wore them more often this concludes my video I hope all this information was of any help to you and it inspired you on learning how to buy your boots if you want to buy boots for a special occasion or to walk fast or for anything else so as ever thank you for watching and have a very nice day bye